What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. So today we are going to experiment with some red hair color. I'm really excited to share with you guys this technique. It creates tons and tons of depth and dimension using red tones. And also I'm looking forward to sharing with you guys how intense the reds are in the Joyco LumaShine line. So if you guys are watching this video anywhere other than the FSE Now app, you're watching it later than everyone else. If you would like to see these videos before they're actually released out to social media, then make sure you download the FSE Now app. That's FSE Now. Or go to freesaloneducation.com. You can create a free profile, get yourself set up, and you'll get alerts when all of these videos come out and you can see them before anybody else. All right, I can't wait to share this technique with you guys. Let's get started. Here we go. All right, so to kick off this technique, we're gonna be using the Joico LumaShine Permanent Hair Color, Cream Hair Color, uh, 6NRG. That is a natural red gold. And then we're also gonna be mixing in the level seven RRC, which is a red, red copper, and it's got the J5 fade resistant technology in it. Cool thing about that technology is it means it's gonna last up to 30 washes and it's not gonna fade. So um, that's one of my favorite things about this red hair color. We're gonna pop in a technique of super vibrant red color with multi-dimension, and that's what I'm gonna show you guys today on this shag haircut that we did uh, a few days ago. So if you haven't seen the haircut video, uh, look it up and, and look for that shag with bangs or layered haircut with bangs and you can see that. We're mixing it with 10 volume and then I'm gonna prep the hair using Joyco Defy Damage Pro Series 1. This is a bond protecting spray. Yes, I said spray. You don't have to put it in the hair color. You spray it right onto the hair. Super easy to do. I take it section by section, about one inch at a time, work my way up the hair, up the head, and I spray it straight down at about five to six inches away from the hair, and that's it, and it's ready. The other great thing about this is not only does it build the bonds in the hair, but it will help brighten your blonde uh, as you go through and do that. So to start off our technique, what I'm gonna be doing is zigzag partings. Uh, the reason I like zigzags is because it creates an in and out depth within the hair color. So I'm going to clip the top away and then I'm going to work my way down the side and I'm going to uh, clip that away as well. So it's super easy sectioning um, in this time, in this moment of, of being a hairdresser. I think time is very, very valuable and we're going to have to get our guests in and out of the salon. So these techniques are built for that. I work my way through. I'm going to be coloring the front of the hair with that RRC, that red, red copper. I want to brighten the front. And then that zigzag that happens on the top is where I'm going to put that level six, the depth all over the rest of the head. And it's going to fall over it and veil over it. And you're going to love this end result. So we start off painting our lightest color, our level seven. Now, I've talked about this before. I like to stay about a shade apart. That way you don't get too much separation in that level. Um, so that really it's just about bringing tones together and movement in a haircut rather than having a super light tone and a super dark tone in the, in the uh, overall technique. So I paint that through scalp to ends. Nothing fancy here, guys. This is the level seven RRC painted scalp to ends. I'm going to paint it through uh, around the face. I'm going to paint it through the fringe and then right down the side on the opposite side as well. So just working that color through. Uh, Joico's cream hair color really has a nice consistency to it, uh, really conditioning to the hair. So I, I paint that on. It goes right into it. I just make sure that I'm working it with my fingers as I go through. Now you'll notice I didn't do a ton of the fringe. So that's a key thing when doing this technique. Don't take too much fringe in it because I want the darker color to actually fall over. I don't want her to have bright bangs and then dark behind her head. Uh, I want it to blend. So just a little bit of zigzag in that front, maybe about a half an inch to an inch most, uh, and then pull that rest of that fringe in with that darker color, which you'll see it at the end. You'll see how that, how that works out. So just working that color back and forth. Uh, painting mid shaft to ends, swiping back and forth, working it with my fingers. Just you want to make sure you have overall saturation. Now, this is going to be a much brighter result because we're doing it on blonde hair. So um, if you had somebody with like, let's say level five, level six hair, um, it wouldn't be as vibrant, but it would still have a nice pop. So um, just think about that in terms of what do you want your client to have? What is your client looking for? Uh, if they wanted a really bright pop of blonde, I would go through and do some balayage first, and then I would overlay it with this technique and almost use it as a toning technique. Okay. So just think about it that way. If she doesn't want it super bright, then go with these tones and do it over her brown hair and uh, do it that way. So um, 
now we're going to work through the top. Uh, this is the 6NRG. Um, so what I want to do is I want to paint that all over the top and the back, and then that's going to finish off the technique. Uh, I did do a little bit of foil to separate. I don't keep that foil on the whole time. What I wanted to do is just make sure that I didn't completely get the, uh, that RRC is a pretty vibrant color. So I didn't want to get it on the mid shaft as I was painting through the top. But then once I get the hair all painted back, then, you know, it's fine. And I don't, I'm not worried about it at that point. So then we can let it process. So once I finish up putting the hair color all over the head, I work it through with my fingers a little bit more. I'll even do a little color melting right at the scalp, kind of smearing everything. Smearing is a weird word, but smearing it all together uh, just to make sure that I have all that saturation at the base. Work it through the ends again. You can see the finished technique here. Um, so just that zigzag, that depth that's going to happen. I can't wait for you guys to see this end result. We're going to let it process for the next 35 minutes. Um, we're going to make that happen real quick. And then here is our end result. Look at that pop, that beautiful, beautiful, bright red tone. I'm finishing up with the Joyco Beach Shake Texturizing Finisher. Uh, builds a ton of texture into the hair. You can see that depth that falls over the top of the fringe. So even though we did color it with that bright copper uh, color, you can see it pop, but it's not overwhelming and her whole face in the front isn't bright. So make sure that you work on that sectioning. Hope you guys like this technique. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Uh, thank you so much for watching.